In this video, we will look at the other important stage of throwing, the delivery of the hammer. This is a progression on from the swings. The delivery is an extremely important part of throwing as it helps lift the hammer into the air once it has built up speed, momentum and height. The desired angle of the hammer should be delivered at less than 45 degrees. However, at the beginning stages, it's something that we're not really worried about. As stated in our previous video, any throwing of the hammer implement must be done in the hammer cage. Under 18s must have a qualified coach present at all times. We're going to start by breaking down the delivery from the swings. For this drill, you do not need to be standing in the cage unless you are throwing something. For right-handers, you will deliver over your left-hand side. For left-handers, you will deliver over your right-hand side. However, for this exercise, it doesn't matter because we'll be practicing both sides. Feet shoulder width apart and legs bent as if you have just completed your swings. This is called the block position. Hips should be facing the grass. Feet can move, just like mine here, to help move part of the upper body. Legs must also straighten, however it's important that you don't straighten them too early. Arms must be above your head to get a lift on the hammer so it can fly high into the air. This is what it should look like from behind. Do this 3 reps of 10 on both sides. To develop strength, try this drill using a weighted medicine ball, which will help when it comes to releasing the hammer. Again, do this on both sides so both become stronger. When you feel like you're confident in the way you are delivering, try it with the hammer. Don't forget about all the things you've learned in our previous video. It's exactly the same movement as the drill you've just practiced. A perfect delivery is one that flies down the middle of the grass. In these videos, I've let go of the hammer too late, causing it to fly over the left-hand side of the grass. This is called hooking. This can be caused by many factors, but in this case, my low and high points were in the wrong place. For example, if your hammer hits the ground, it pushes the hammer into the wrong position. In this case, just lift up your low point slightly to reduce this risk. You can also end up releasing the hammer too early. Again, this could be caused by your swings. Here's a quick recap of what you've learnt about the delivery in this video. The delivery drill, with and without a weighted ball. Lock position, where the arms, feet, legs and hips should be. And lastly, some of the common errors that affect a good delivery, such as hooking and releasing the hammer too early. This is one of the videos part of our hammer throwing series that will help you progress to becoming a better thrower or to even try a new athletics event. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the subscribe button and check out some of our other great videos. To find out a little bit more about us, check out our website and social media pages on screen.